happy that you are listening to the Secured and Happy Lifestyle podcast. And with me is Miss Erica Canoy Sanchez. Good day, Miss Erica. Hi. Hello. Good day to everybody. Yes, I'm so happy that nagpaunda ka sa aking invitation. <laughs> I know that you're very busy um, doing everything in your business and at home. Um, I would like, and I'm so curious to to ask lang na, how do you keep things in order? In order in terms of my work or in my life in general? Yes, in life in general. <laughs> Ayan, life in general. I guess life in general is just, um, obviously, una-una, ano ba talaga yung importante, di ba? Um, yeah. I just literally had a planning last weekend and there was a quote that somebody said, it's about, you have to know kung ano yung, what is important but not necessarily urgent mm-hmm. and what is urgent but not necessarily important. So I think it's always trying to find yung balance between those two. Um, lalo na now with the pandemic, um, we find out na ang dami natin time, pero at the same time, bitin pa rin lahat. I know like now a lot of people are working from home and they don't really need to physically go to the office. So that's supposed to save a lot of time. But all of a sudden, patong-patong yung meeting, patong-patong yung requirement, parang dumadami nga yung trabaho. Exactly. Parang dumami nga yung trabaho, di ba? So, I think the, the most important is really knowing what is your priority for the day. Uh, personally, work-wise, uh, the moment I get to the office, I normally have a very, may post ito ko sa gilid din, to do. As in, yun lang talagang kailangan. Oh, meron talaga nakasulat dyan. And then, it's only after, you know, some of the major things are done, then you can look at the other things that you need to do. Kasi nga, parang hindi na nga na naubusan eh. Exactly. Means ka na, nagahalo nga yung work tsaka personal. Yung mga nakalagay dyan, finish this report and something-something. Tapos yung pangalawa, uh, pay for the books kasi... Uh, yung daughter ko will go to school na in three weeks. Oh, so. yeah. Oh, oh. Pasok ka na naman. Busy exactly. na si mami. Busy din si ano. Yung student, True. diba? Oh, Correct. So, so there is... that's where order really comes in. But yeah. kanya-kanya. I mean, uh, I, I know how people... On. Yeah, exactly. So the reason why I started with that because uh, like me, Eric is very busy and I am also curious to know what what's like or what is it like in a the in the life of Erica, diba? So she did mention about noting things. And I'm meron nga dyan similar tayo dyan. Naka-quadrant din ako. Kasi parang mm-hmm. napapagod ako sa sarili kong ginagawa because everything for me back then is urgent and important. Hindi pwede naman palang i-sort siya, diba? Um, another thing is napansin ko, um, guys, um, I met Erica in BCBB. So what is BCBB? It's um, Brotherhood of Christian um, Christian business and pro- businessmen and professional. Ayan. So, um, this is an organization we're in happy ang mga tao. And that's where <laughs> I met Erica. And um, so, I've been also with some projects with the the Team Canoy, uh, sorry, Team Sanchez. Ayan. And nakakatuwa because let me, ano, let me know if you agree, Erica, that if you are in that environment, na naapektuhan din yun. Na somehow it influences your day-to-day life. Diba? Yung professional tsaka sa personal. Um, how long have you been with the organization? Uh, with the BCPP, I actually started with it. Um, I was still living in Bangkok at that time. So my husband um, worked there from 2013 to around uh, 2017, almost 2018, early 2018. And that's where we were introduced to the BCBP. So, you know, over five years already been a part of it. And it's really true, Ayat. Um, you know, a lot of the times that the community you're in non-professionally, you know, that can be your family, that's your circle of friends. Right. And that also affects how you treat people on the professional standpoint. So, um, what I really like about the BCBP, you know, parang Christian businessmen and professionals. So, the way you do business, um, of course, the balat naman tayo kailang ethical, moral, and all these things, yes. ba? But yeah. sometimes it's as simple as the way you talk to people, Correct. ba? You can be having a really bad day, but it's also the way you talk to people um, that that um, will affect that person and that person's day moving forward. Then, so kanya kanya, yeah. but. What I love about the community is because we, you're right, we, we've done a lot of projects um, mm-hmm. together. Um, we, we've, we've interacted um, a lot of times and 
I've seen also the way that you interact with people. And sometimes these are people you just met virtually. Because right. um, I recall when you joined the community, yeah. the year after it was the pandemic. Again. Yeah, oh. <laughs> exactly. Parang diba? transition ako eh. Oh, so parang you, I guess the luxury of having to be with the activities na face-to-face wasn't so deep for you at that time. But right. what I'm happy to see is that hindi naman nawawala yung saya, kahit virtual, kahit hindi tayo na, you know, we can't hug or really see each other face-to-face. Mm-hmm. But that, Um, yung camaraderie ba is, yeah. is really something that I really value and you know, parang hearing other people the way they talk about their work the way they talk about um, their office place and how they mm-hmm. run their businesses also makes uh, gives parang kahit pa paano na influence ka Yes. To do those oh, sorts of practices. things in your office. Yeah, exactly. Oh, to do uh, those sort of things in your business mm-hmm. as well. So that I'd like to think is one of the gifts that the community has given me and how I'm you know, using it dito naman sa uh, professional life. Yes, ko. that's right. That's right. Um, no, maliit ka pa. Yes. Bigla na grow. Wow. <laughs> Oo nga. Parang nostalgia bigla. Yeah, yeah. Okay. Kasi syempre, malaki ba yung influence ng family in terms of decision making, Uh, in terms of yan or joining the organization um, and of course yung succession from from after graduation is there is an um an expected non-verbal expectation tama ba yun na ah, eventually they will have to succeed the the business that we are running so yung decision making were you part um kahit bata ka pa Uh, is it part of the dining or the meal session in the family na? Guys, we need to have a family succession planning or hindi naman talaga siguro ganun, pero parang ganun, hindi lang siya mm-hmm. na-verbalize that way. Can you take us back in time? Yeah. Pag- <laughs> Pag-rewind tayo? <laughs> yes, uh, okay, okay, actually, to be very honest, um, yes, yeah, so um, RMN, Radio Mindanao Network, mm-hmm. is a family business started by my lolo, Uh, my grandfather, yeah. So, um, but when we were growing up, so, sige, how do I phrase it? Pa? Actually, we grew up without the expectation na magtatrabaho ka sa family business. Kung baga, hindi siya given. Okay. Given sa amin. Um, it was un- never really written, never really said, but we grew up with that indication na unless tinanong ka na or ang, ang joke na unless tinawag ka na ni Lord <laughs> you, the, you know you can ni mayor <laughs> may, oh, ni mayor you may not you, you don't necessarily you will not necessarily be working for the family business so I think that was something personally for me that was something that really um, maybe some people might think na nakaka low self-esteem naman yan na parang wala naman tiwala yung magulang mo sa'yo na, you know, you'll continue the business. But I think for me, it actually gave me, um, it, it helped boost my self-esteem kasi parang I would have been able to succeed on my own regardless of whether I joined the business or not. Um, though, yung course na kinuha ko was communication. So it was geared related. towards that. Yeah, it was related uh-huh. towards that. Parang, Um, una una, ako maging doktor. <laughs> Parang hindi ko type. But um, I took a course related to it. I I, um, I ended up actually, majority of my professional career, I ended up in the advertising industry, which made me obviously understand um, the media industry. But again, yun nga, um, I only got, my father only talked to me Um, I had already spent 10 years in the advertising in- industry before he asked me to join the family. That yeah. Experience and think, muna. <laughs> exactly. And I think oh. that's what I appreciated. Na parang yung experience, hindi kailangan magagaling sa loob. Kailangan makunin mo, kunin mo yan on your own. Sumabit ka somewhere else. Oh. Sumabit ka na hindi kita. Yeah. Oh, free will. And then nice. you also have, at least at the end of the day, you can say that your work experience, well, my work experience prior to the family business. It's really my own. Right. Um, I grew on my own. Sana no I grew. pressure. <laughs> yeah, I grew on my own. Yun na nga, parang I think more than anything, parang kung sumabit ka, sumabit ka on your own. Uh, uh, diba? Uh, uh, um, not, ownership. Not, mm-hmm. Yes, the, the accountability, the responsibility. Right. So, yeah, um, I actually got spoken, uh, well, my, my father sat me and my brother. So, I'm the eldest out Ayun, of five yeah, children. Yes. Yeah. 
I'm the eldest. So my brother next to me, we're just about a year and a half apart. So kinausap na kami dalawa. And um, we slowly were starting to transition into the family business at around maybe 2011, 2012. Mm-hmm. And then I had to move to Bangkok. Uh, with my family. Oh, no. Uh, mean... So I left that. I, I left it behind. And it was only really when I came back. Um, and again, when I came back, actually, uh, there was no expectations again. So I was, you know, I was job hunting. I was looking back in the advertising industry. And then, kinusa din ako na tatay ko. So I started back in the family business in 2018, in Feb of 2018. And yeah, I have been there, been there ever since. Oh, that's But nice. I think, um, we also grew up na wala talagang pinag-uusapan ng negosyo sa dinner table because what you talk about there is what's related to your family. So okay. we would talk about each other, we would talk about you know, things that, yeah, our day. It was only if, for example, there was a very specific question about business, then it would come out. But mm-hmm. more often than not, I think it became a very conscious effort, um, even with me and my brother, uh, both of us in the family business. Na kahit niyan, kasi hindi na kami nagawa family get-together, Zoom get-together oh, yeah. na lang. Meeting so na even, uh, <laughs> even, but even then, we'd never really talk about um, business. Mm-hmm. Siguro, if ever lang, baka parang nag-Zoom ako, me, my brother, my dad will Zoom prior to the big family Zoom. Mm-hmm. May pero not room oh, may, may ano kami breakout room muna kami no, breakout room <laughs> yeah naka breakout room but never in the big family group and i think that was something that um i appreciate until mm-hmm. now Bonding because na rin, it, no? it also mm-hmm. keeps that side of the family apart so mm-hmm. as long as you're facing each other what you talk about is yourselves you don't spend that precious time talking about something when you sh- something else like business or all that time. exactly where you should be spending it with the people or just learning about kung ano, how was your day the people that you love the mm-hmm. and so on kapag work work kapag house talagang home lang yes uh, yes i so think you, that's a very conscious effort uh, that we do so that's also something that um, that is related to what you have right now with your family tama ba yes uh, also... same girl okay and then um, Mm-hmm. No, no, exactly okay. that. Yeah, yeah, <laughs> exactly. We, I, I would try to practice the same thing at home as well. At least my home also. Mm-hmm. And I'm sure my brother does as well. Right, right. So as a daughter, the eldest daughter in the family, sabi mga, there's no pressure. And I think it's it's good na um, there isn't any because if, if it's initiative mo talaga, you feel happy with the decisions, the domino effect na yan eh. And then mm-hmm. if there would, parang, what I see lang is that na cultivate mas much more your creativity because there is no pressure na you have to be good at this, etc. You, you chose your own career or path in life, and which is very good. As a parent, maganda yon, maganda yon. And I think that is something that, that's what I picked up in this conversation. That's nice. Because I have the tendency <laughs> bata pa naman sila. Um, were there any um, subtle hints? Because there, there was a, that major talk with your dad saying that you have to take over. You, you fully take over na at this time? In the Actually, no. Um, well, my, my father still serves mm-hmm. as the president and CEO and mm-hmm. both me and my brother, um, we co- were parang were co uh, EVPs and mm-hmm. chief operating officers. So um, while the day to day decision making is really on our shoulders, of course we still refer back to him yeah. okay. um, for a lot of things. Yeah. Mm-hmm. And um, so you did also mention that the succession planning wasn't really explicit. Hindi siya mm-hmm. sinasabi. But as a somebody who is very structured. Ang mga quadrants, alam natin yan. Mm, yeah. um, was there any tip? Is there any tip? So, for example, may mga challenges. And you said, day-to-day decision-making, nako, medyo mabigat yan. Because anything na, you know, something na may mamiss lang or mali, it's on your shoulders, di ba? Mm-hmm. So, are there any tips wherein, before you decide, aside from uh, getting the consensus of the father or, or the own um, the the CEO, Kasi it's a personal truth also na parang I feel lang na 
I, I I have the power, but I cannot exercise it fully. Parang ganun. Okay. So was there any uh-huh. experience na ganun din? Um, for me personally, not really. I think the the problem not the problem but the the challenge in running the day to day kasi is that you really obviously want kailangan na itindihan mo din kung ano talaga nangyayari the root of the problem yeah exactly oh. and every um how every wheel fits or how every gear fits into another gear into another gear para gumagalaw silang lahat yes. diba Uh-oh. pag yung dulo lang tiningnan mo tapos hindi lang siya gumagalaw hindi lang yan yung problema eh yeah. hanapin mo siya You uh, from the start, <laughs> exactly, de ba? You have to go all the way back. Because if you lang yung use mo, eh, baka naman sumablay naman yung mga ibang gears. Mm-hmm. So I think, well, me um, professionally, one of the things that I learned before, I get, you know, looking mm-hmm. back at my my advertising career, I remember another of my bosses said this. Na parang pag may pro- parang wag kang never ka lalapit talaga sa boss mo na may problema. Or kung lalapit ka man na may problema, dapat may solution ka na. Ma- I mean, oh, yes. what's the worst? Oh. The worst that can happen is that oh. mali yung naisip mo na solution, pero at least nagbigay ka naman. Hindi yung labit ka lang na parang, Sir, sabit eh. ba? Diba? <laughs> parang ganun lang. So, Sir, sabit. Pero ito naisip ko, pwede ba yan? Oh. At least you thought already of something. And uh, I think because nga you're when, um, in running the day-to-day, um, unless talagang major-major issue, hindi na talaga inaakit yun. Um, One, I think it's important na first, you're able to empower your people to also have that mindset na dito naayos na namin. Kung hindi namin naayos, then fine, elevate na. But at, pero dapat na-exhaust mo lahat ng efforts para maayusin muna. Mm-hmm. Diba? The other joke I always have is parang pag inayos ko ba yan, kailangan pa ba kita? Eh, kasi, diba, if you look at it, of, no, if you really look at it as a hierarchy, uh-huh. diba, na parang kaya, kaya kita kinuha eh. Uh-huh. Diba? That's why you're part of this organization because this is your responsibility. Mm-hmm. And understandably, some of the things na, you know, uh, maybe it, it's above your pay grade or hindi mo talaga maintindihan kung paano mo I use and then you elevate it. But these mm-hmm. small things, you should be able to figure them out. For yourself, so I think that's where the structure lies for me. Mm-hmm. It it lies in making sure that you have a good foundation of people, your accountability and responsibility, nila, because that will also serve as the strength of your foundation. Tama. Diba? Yes. Mm-hmm. If if at the end of the day, every every minute, every second, ako lang nagaayos or tumatagbo lang ako sa executive office, al puro problema. Again. Am I really doing my job? I mean, and that I guess is a trickle down effect. So yes. I think that's where structure would lie, mm-hmm. um, and that's also where you're able to cultivate an organization that also feels that they, you know, like what you said, the confidence mm-hmm. to make decisions, the confidence right. to stand by your decisions, de right? Yeah. Of course, I mean, what's again, what's the worst that can happen? Mali yung naisip mo, then makaisip yung boss mo na mas tama, but at least nag-effort ka man lang na magbigay ng solusyon. Add, yeah, uh, exactly. Yeah. Add activity. Yeah. Uh, yes. So, knowing that, no, parang nag-gets ko agad na, how is Erica as a lady boss? <laughs> Mabait ako. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> so, what I captured is that um, you empower your people to be able to give you, you know, yung flow ng creativity nila to give sound action plans on a problem that kapag petty yan, you don't have to escalate it again. Right. Diba? Be resourceful. Solve it and then when, if it's really unresolvable, you go to me with a, a still a very good recommendation because yep. since you picked it up, malamang, you know naman, nag-trace back ka, diba? And that's good. Um, in the company where I serve also, I I also voice out accountability, China shared ownership. Yeah. And I think I, I also got this in BCBP wherein if may malasakit ka sa tao, di malasakit back to you. Tama ba? Malasakit yes, ba? Yes, that, that, diba? definitely. Yeah. Uh, Parang golden rule, di ba? Do unto others as you want others to do unto you. So the way I hope that at least you know the 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 supervisory level the ones i deal with on a, on a more regular basis the way i empower them the way they you know the way we work together is the same way that they work downwards sa teams nila 
Right. Diba? Um, and yeah, definitely malasakit. And I think one of the things that also guides me is I always, it's always going to be a question of sino ba maapekto sa desisyon na to? Right. Oo. So you 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 see the the I mean yung 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 humanity mo siguro lumalabas, de ba? Humanize um, the process, de ba? Yeah, and yeah, then that. Uh-huh. But at the same time, you also have to. Um, but there's also there should also be a level of justice, de ba? Parang um, if you have people, let's say in your organization, which you know you know are not really performing. <clears throat> are not really performing at all and that's the reality of life diba? mm-hmm. so um the hope is that you've taught them enough accountability to know for themselves na parang wait ako mismo hindi ako hindi ko ginagawa tama yung trabaho hindi ka solved sa ginagawa oh oh so they will try to improve yeah. on themselves uh-huh. diba Mm-hmm. Um, but and I'm sure a lot of businesses had to go through this with the pandemic. Yes. A lot of um, I know a lot Families. of um, people that mm-hmm. had to lose their jobs for many different reasons. And I guess in doing so, yes, you think about the human side of it. Of course, may wala na trabaho dyan, But um, was that person also performing? You know, I mean, it's tough. It it's not. It will never be an easy decision. And uh, I think one is, um, and that's where you know your faith, Siguro, really comes in, and and faith in making that that decision when, if and when the time comes that you have to make it. But that's also where the community comes in. Um, mm-hmm. uh, we we have our groups Support where system. we, yes, you know, you 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 kind of ask and say, you know, what happens when you encounter this and you encounter that, and you kind of get tips and you. Try to develop your own way of of handling situations like that. But um, like I said, in this um, I don't think it will ever be easy. <laughs> exactly, it will never be easy Uh-oh. to do. Um, but I think as long as you're fair mm-hmm. and as long as you you know nga, yung, that that level of justice where na begin naman sila na pagkakataon. Mm-hmm. Um, they um, they were duly informed yes. of 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 the process and and the, the decisions and there are some times that you just have to let go and let God. Yes. Kung ganun na yan, Actually, diba? I agree because um, you know to be fair to everybody who is performing, diba? They have to be managed KPI wise, para objective and yep. from what I'm getting from you is that you really had that structure wherein. When you empower people, you also give them accountability. It's not enough that you just do your function. Develop ka din personally. You know, hindi, it, yeah. it's not because you are that from start until many years, di ba? What is, uh, how long has RMN has, ano, have been, uh, have been operating? Actually, RMN is celebrating its 69th birthday this wow. year. So next year, it will be Congrats. 70 years old. <laughs> yeah. Oh, oh, nice. Ang But just to naman. touch on what you're saying about um, accountability, uh, um, I, I always point out the difference that I feel the difference between accountability mm-hmm. and responsibility. Responsibility, pumasok ka. Pumasok ka sa opisina. Responsible ka, ginawa mo yun. Oh. Pero accountable ka pag ginawa mong tama yung trabaho mo. So that's also a very, I know it's a very, very shallow way of looking at mm-hmm. it. But I think that that's also the difference because sometimes... Um, Uh, people think now, basta pumasok naman ako, okay na ako. Okay na yung diba? timing na ako. <laughs> exactly, di ba? I mean, yes, uh, responsible ka to be able to do that. You appear. Diba? Uh-huh. But that that was not the main part of why you were hired. And and that's why accountability is really, I value that um, a lot, especially in our organization. So parang binabalance talaga nung what we do in the community, yung how we manage, no? Kasi sa akin din nakatulong yun if people know that uh, tinitignan mo, you look after yourself as the company owner, they appreciate it because families depends on the business that you operate. And then, mm-hmm. if they look into themselves, they also feel like, teka, meron akong responsibility and meron din akong accountability. They own their mistakes and it's based on KPI and key performance indicator. Na if, sabi ko nga, if mag absent tignan nyo rin because the task will spill over the next tao, di ba? Because mm-hmm. you're not here. So, what more if you 
absent yourself and take a leave for a long time. I, I have to transition to the person and mirror your skill, like the one that you, siguro, probably it's also existing in the organization. But yun nga, going back, media kasi kayo, sobrang, ano ba, uh, uh, on the go lagi, di ba? And there's always parang on call, is it still um, present in the system? Yeah, I mean, um, so just to also give a perspective, so like uh, within the network, so I actually handle the sales and marketing side of the media side, okay. diba? So my brother handles the, he's the um, EVP and COO of the operations. But um, in our case, and then speaking out, you're, you're touching on, you know, pag nag-absence, syempre may task na natatapos. And again, it's still the pandemic. So there we actually have a work from home scheme. So okay. even then, parang work, yes, nasa bahay ka, pero all the more, dapat mas accountable and responsible ka nga eh kasi nga di ba parang yeah. um, one of the things that the company has also prided itself on mm-hmm. is that balance di ba you, you want to make sure that your employees are safe but Correct. you need to have mm-hmm. business continuity so <laughs> oh, so may, it's ano eh, may, may level of trust din eh. Kasi parang yes, okay. magtitiwala ka na magtatabaho yung mga tao. Na, pag sinabi mo, <laughs> oh, pag sinabi mo, oh sige, uh, three day work week lang tayo. Two days work from home. Oh. I need, I am trusting you guys. as the, I will trust that you will work. <laughs> yes, yes. Kumbaga, Deliverable. Yes, yeah, you're trusting mm-hmm. us um, to make sure that you're safe. You, mm-hmm. you, you know, your 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 the family. job will not put you. Yeah, will not put you at risk. But the trust is two ways. I think that goes back to what you're saying. Pag may malasakit mm-hmm. sa kanila, yes. ibabalik nila yung malasakit sa you. So oh. I think that has been truly tested this pandemic. Oh. Um, and in terms of like. You know, the Philippines is still a very face-to-face type of um, we have to industry. Tayo, no? Para yeah. Tapos, dapat nandito ka sa office. Exactly, di ba? Parang oh. walang magagawa, walang, walang nangyayari kung wala ka sa opisina. Parang that, that's a very um, Pinoy mindset. Mm-hmm. But, you know, you see a lot of developed countries where they really have, you know, a four-day Ito work po. week. Tama. And gano'n na talaga. Or pag, pag sinabi na five o'clock, log out, clock out, lahat sila clock out. Walang go-OT-OT dyan. Oh. So, um, yeah, I think that that is also the trust that, you know, on a management standpoint, you put in your people right. because you can just only hope that that same trust goes back uh, upwards to you and they will deliver on what their roles and responsibilities are. Yes, and it's uh, very good to note also that RMN is uh, turning 70 next year. That means a sustained talaga yung business. And kudos to the management team, di ba? Kasi it, it wouldn't be operating that long had the people didn't have loyalty to serve. Yun nga, walang malasaki. So I'm really hoping that siguro give us tips on how you are able to sustain it over time. Kahit three bullet points lang. Yeah. John? <laughs> I think, well, you know, um, if you look at a lot of the employees that are in RMN, um, these are people that have really been there for a while. And when I say a while, you're you're saying 10 years. More than. Oh, more than yeah, more. over 10 years. So I think one is um, maybe because of the way that um, it was structured as a family business. I'm, I personally try to structure the way we treat our employees the same. You know, you know, really knowing na um, uh, sino ba yung tatay nito or kung nag-leave to because nagkasakit yung nanay, then you find out, you know, and ask, is your mom okay and all that. So again, it, it, it's just connecting. It's, mm-hmm. I think it's it's really about connections. And no matter how big or how small a corporation or, or organization is, I think the strength it's of important. that is really connections. Yeah, mm-hmm. it's how... Um, the connection is from up to down and down to up because if you don't feel any connection with the company you're in then there's you nothing to really it, eh? yeah and there's nothing that will make you stay you know i think that's one um i think the second is also integrity um in any company you know decision making is difficult but if everybody's able to understand where you're coming from with that decision mm-hmm. and they accept it, it's because you've also, you know, given them all the information um, para maintindihan nila kung bakit nangyari ang nangyari or bakit uh, ginawa. 
Yeah, oh. kasi again, if nobody understands why, you know, the management does what they do, yeah. then nobody will also stay. Oh. Diba? I guess the third is just have fun, you know, at oh. the end of the day. Um, <laughs> you, you, uh, ako ito talagang with advertising, I, I really mm-hmm. recall this, na parang I, I grew up with the age of advertising kasi yung talagang super OT, super... Yung parang Kapag. uwi ka lang para maligo, tas babalik ka na ulit, tas kailangan really? sing fresh ka. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Because of the work. Um, mm-hmm. But I remember that I would, we I wasn't really complaining because parang all the people we were with, the people that, you know, yung mm-hmm. office mates and all that, you're all going through the same thing, but you're all happy doing it. Because you're together. Yeah, and I think that's a difference because <laughs> you will have other organizations na yun, isang buong department sila nag ot pero mm. okay galit na. silang lahat. Uh-oh. Or galit silang lahat. Ayaw Uh-oh. nilang lahat. I rate. <laughs> diba? So, uh, I mean, kanya-kanya. And I think, again, uh, the pandemic has really created ways for a lot of companies to really rethink mm. the way they're structured, to rethink their... Um, their culture, their company culture, to rethink the way they treat people. Because nakat, nakatikim na lahat ng work from home. So I don't think it's something Kapalit na mawawala. Sa... Yes, yeah. I agree. Diba? I don't <laughs> think, uh, uh, maybe for some industries, mm-hmm. it'll go back to a five-day work week. Mm-hmm. Maybe some it will maintain at four. Mm-hmm. Because there are also some companies that have seen na parang, oh, kaya naman pala eh. Saka Efficient naman cost. pala kahit Oh, less cost, di ba? Or Overhead. in the same way, um, imbis na 20 yung tao mo sa isang team, oh, kaya naman pala na 10 lang. Head ratio, okay na pala. <laughs> yeah, so efficiency will always, I think efficiency is the name of the game um, as each and every company moves forward uh, with the now normal. But I think that for me, those are the three probably, you know, connections, integrity, and just fun. And that that's where you will be able to build, I guess, a structure of an organization that you yourself would like to be part of. Yes. Yan lang naman yun, di ba? Parang, oh. tanawin mo muna sarili mo, ikaw ba? mag enjoy ka ba sa kumpanya na to? Oo. Di ba? May pag, self-discovery ikaw, ka din dapat eh. Oh, Internalize ka. Pag, pag sinagot mo, hindi oh. masyado, then may, maybe you have to rethink something kung ikaw oh. mismo hindi mag enjoy sa kumpanya na to. You have to tweak. Oh. So, yeah. just to recap also, dun sa mga so Erica is a very good uh, example of a lady boss where it she just doesn't look at your position but she also cares and sincerely looks after the families of those that are you know in their organization and those are three tips sinabi niya sa atin, guys the following so yung structure niya ng family business is really to connect because when you connect, sincerity is felt. And if people feel the sincerity, they'll last long, you know? And sustaining the family business is not just the owners, the money. It's all, all, always and uh, most of the time comprising of those people who helps you. Yung mga extra arms and legs natin, di ba? Sila yon. And for the most part, sila dapat ang may recognition. Second is integrity. Integrity, uh, I, I would like to describe it as parang may objective dapat, clear, clear yung uh, function so that they can um, move and do as ask para makapagbibigay din sila ng value added, diba? value added integrity. So if there's integrity, regardless if you're work from home, on and off camp, <laughs> diba? Correct. Yung pangyayari, kasi alam mo, and the, the, the instruction, is clear na nang trickle down sa'yo. And finally, don't forget to have fun because you wouldn't really want uh, people around you na parang nag-event na lang palagi. And because maapektuhan ka rin. No? So, uh, that's the, I think, the strategy of RMN, no? For having so many, uh, uh, I'm sure you have a lot of staff members and for lasting this long. And I wish you all the best, RMN and Erica and your brother. Uh, I hope that um, sana no, makapag-meet na rin tayo soon, physically. And then, yes, oh. Oh, oh, yung kumbucha natin, cheers. Oh, <laughs> Ang dami na ang dami na discord. Buhay na buhay ba yung sayo? Buhay na buhay. Dumadami na sila. <laughs>
<laughs> Ayan. So, if there's anything that we can look forward for you, um, feel free to promote. Sige lang. Uh, well, you know, I think one of the things that I'm mean, not necessarily about my business or, or the industry that I am, but I think for everybody listening, um, always take time to, um, again, I will say what the first thing I said in when we started this, the difference between what is important may not necessarily be urgent and what is urgent may not necessarily be important because nowadays it's very important that you take into consideration, you know, your your the balance between your life, your career, your family, and all these things. But sometimes there are urgent matters that you'll have to also do. So the balance will not need to be something that you will need to find for yourself. I think yun ang, that's also something I learned in the pandemic. Na all this time I thought, okay, yung balance ng buhay ko. But when the pandemic struck, it made you. It made me realize what are the things that I need to put in the forefront, and what are the things that I can push back. So I hope that something that everybody listening figures out for themselves. Um, to be honest, hindi naman siya yung gigising ka na lang one day and that's it. I'm balanced. I know, hindi. right? Because it's a every day, progress. exactly oh. every day, magiiba yung parang Good skills no. lang naman yun eh. Oh. Uh-huh. Diba, sa skills naman, hindi man forever steady yan. May times na gaganin talaga siya and all that. And I think, enjoy the process. Trust the process. That's the most important. Trust the process and as long as your foundations are clear. And that's there. And of course, for RMN Networks, um, we're present across the whole country. Um, almost every major province has an RMN radio station. So um, continue listening on Metro Manila. We're on DZXL 558, Raja Trabajo. And on FM, we're at IFM 93.9. So, maraming maraming salamat, Coach Ayet. Yes, salamat I had a lot din. of fun. I had Oo. a lot of fun Actually, with this. Actually, sasabihin ko nga sa'yo, yan ba ang sikreto ng secured and happy lifestyle? Yung dapat, ganyan ka lang. <laughs> exactly, steady oh, belts. Ba? Steady ah, belts ah, lang, diba? Oh, chill ka so, lang. So, ano na, pag gumanon, mahuhulog ka din. So. Oh, so, dapat you know how to get back. Correct. Oh. Nakasira din ng beauty yan pag hindi nakabalansyado. Oh. Ah, ba? Parang sa makeup lang yan. Baka masyado ang over ang blush on one day. Oh. ba? Another time naman, over naman masyado oh. ang ano, ang okay. BB cream. So either namumuti ka or namumula. Hanap natin oh. ng gitna. <laughs> so dapat balance eh, guys. So thank yep. you so much, Sis Erica. And siguro invite na rin natin sila sa BCDP for those who are interested. Um, feel free to comment below on how and we'll direct message you. And I'll also put there the link Ayan, for the activities that we have. Yep. Thank you so much. Thank you so much. Thank you also. <laughs> Thank you very uh-huh. much for inviting me. Uh, it was an actually, honor, of course. Natutuwa na ako kasi parang ang, ang big ng name ni Erica tapos pinipigyan oh, niya <laughs> No. Ano Ayan. ba? Ayan. So, Simple guys, lang ako. Mm, so guys, for, for those who would like to uh, listen to this episode, I hope that you click also the following button in podcast, Apple Podcast and Spotify. Again. Until our next chat, mga kabisnates, thank you and happy listening.